Welcome back, everyone. Let's uh, finish off this straggler, and then we'll we'll play around with kind of the gear we just got. I guess actually, actually, let's be a little thoughtful about this. We could move Ifin and Los up top. Is that wise? Let's do that. You guys can come in this way. Yeah, perfect. Then they have like high ground. Uh, don't love this guy getting to go first, but this is also explains why that last fight went better for us the second time. Because uh, we had him as part of the, the same fight when we originally did this. Um, I could teleport him closer. That actually wouldn't be crazy. Teleport uses two, yeah, that's actually reasonable. I could like pull him into here. I mean, he takes some damage from it too. Wow, he's got so much physical armor. Honestly, I would've been better off just focusing him down with magic, but. But that's all good. Uh, then I can throw like that up. That was wildly unhelpful. <laughs> it's hilarious, but it was ridiculously unhelpful. Uh, let's first do impalement. Like that would be great. Then we can phoenix dive into you. You, know, you don't actually do any aerial damage from that, but... Oh man, that's gonna blow. It might even blow up the water. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Uh, can I get into you? Yeah. Cause then I can do crippling blow. This doesn't cripple, but it at least, at least, man, I wish I could. I had better ways to get rid of his, uh, or get through it. Oh, get around his physical armor. We did a lot of damage there, though. Okay. Um, what is she gonna do? I guess we could re pump up their magic armor, would be good. And then otherwise, just like get away. Yeah, force him to run if he's gonna come for me. You're not trying to escape, are you? Chemical warfare grenade. Diseased both of them. Okay. It's not very polite. A little high ground damage there. The winter blast doesn't really feel like that works very well. Or should work very well at least. I mean, this might actually work. Try to just hit him. But there's some cloud cover. All right, not like a ton. I should have, um, I should have wanded. I always forget that. Probably also should have evaded on her. Uh, let's delay. Then we can run her away more if we need to. Uh, I'd love to get the worms on him. It looks like they uh, slow him so he can't move. Okay. Yeah, that's great. 
That's super good. Yeah, it did it did take a lot of um took three action points though, which isn't ideal. But then uh, we could fortify like her maybe. Knocks the diseased off too, which is great. And then we could do something intense, like a uh infect is super strong, but I always forget. That takes three out of four action points, whereas this will just be two. And then I can actually also swing. Okay, cool. Night, night. All right, not too bad at all. We can link the group back up. Come back down here and pick it up. Pick up his corpse, I mean. A lot of grenades. Some health potions. And another key. We just fought her, right? The whiff of chemistry assails you, but this spirit is not unhappy. What oh no, this is someone else. Has now lost its power. He's ready to depart. He fades away, gone forever to the Hall of Echo. Whoa, that was a lot of experience. All right. I mean, I know I've been needing to be better about using... Um, that's not Quirkus, is it? Where is Quirkus? He's right there, okay. Um, I need, need to be much better about using spirit vision. So I'm going to try to do that. We'll see if I can do it, but I'm going to definitely try. So there was something out here that happened. Okay. That was intense. <laughs> cool. Super cool. Should save. Rest. I want that source point. I can see all these traps now. Presumably there's a way to... Oh, we could cross this now. Over to this caravan, but we'll do that someone good spot there. We'll do that another time. First, I want to really, really kind of explore this place. Yeah, I'm just going to go right back through a bunch of traps. Okay. Cool. All right, let's sort, let's search through this place pretty extensively. Somewhere in here. The spirit of a young woman stares in blissful devotion at the lone wolf alchemist. Huh. Did he cast a spell on her to make her be in love? Pot still. That's probably useful for something, right? Like, do we have any potions that require a pot still? Constitution, strength, armor, void enhanced po poison, giant poison vial, medium healing requires red fabric dye, large healing, weirdly the H is not capitalized, requires a void enhanced poison, huh, void touch live wood fragments. I mean, is there going to be something in one of these? Did you expect a needle? Kind of. Did you expect a needle? Did you expect a needle? All right. Well, I don't want to. Let's...
Unlocked. Oh, hell yeah. The crazed lone wolf spirit screams and does not stop. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll lay a hand on upon his shoulder. He returns to himself. The screaming stops. Both eyes settle upon you at last. He looks tired. He looks haunted. Why don't you go to the Hall of Echoes, buddy? But I've done such terrible things. Well, who hasn't? He takes this in. A single ghostly tear trickles down his face. He raises a hand in salute and disappears. Nice. That's a lot of XP we're getting. Which I will gladly take. Oh, just bed linens. I was really hoping for a lot more in that chest, but I guess that actually makes sense. I'll take this. It is 29 gold. Let's check this. Dirty socks and a pillow. Another key. There's a lot of keys here. Some gloves, a rabbit's paw. That's good. Mug of water. Can I just drink it? What do we got in here? An ornate chest. That's promising. There you go. Charming arrow is actually quite good. Should learn how to make that. Would be very good. A marine ring. Hmm. Why? Why would that make that burn? Yeah, weird. Huh. Some weird stuff going on in here. Whoa. Starstruck legendary crafted by the hands of a wizard and emanating an eerie glow the staff holds as much potential as you hold within yourself 100% chance to turn water and blood surfaces and clouds into poison That actually could be If we like actually played around that that could be pretty powerful I would think Another dead squirrel did we just do that? Well, that's not great. If Hartwin were to receive her head, it would make his day. I'll leave that with you. He raises a hand in salute, then vanishes into the... All right, what? Who's Hardwin? Um. The paladins at the meadows would very much appreciate if someone were to take the head of Mummy Dearest. We took Mummy Dearest's head. Got it. So we should not throw that away. We should deliver it. Cool. All right. Using spirit vision turns out super important. There's like a crazy amount of stuff you can find with it. So we know that now. Just gotta remember to like check everything. Someone up here. Edie? You killed him! Phil instead. He's gone along with his name. All gone. All gone. All gone. Okay, but no experience for that one. So it's like a little unclear, but it's okay. Now, of course, we're not just looking for spirits. There should be other stuff, right? All right. Surprisingly more spirits, though. You hear the roar of fire, the crack of burnt awnings falling. The spirit stands before you, silent among the wreckage. His skin half melted down his face. Ugh. He turns his gaze towards the corpse of Lone Wolf Pigsbane. 
His peeping skull cracks into a grin. He turns to you and bows. The spirit's grin nice. lingers as the spectral flames around him fade. Skin reforms around his skull. He is a handsome man with gentle eyes. He waves and vanishes. Cool. So it's kind of like if we do something that puts them at peace, maybe that gets you experience, but I would have thought then we would have for that woman and we didn't seem to, so. Now for some reason, taking any of this stuff is still stealing. Why is that? The man who killed the spirit now lies dead, and he knows it. You're welcome. Claim your free in knowledge. Okay. He holds out his hand. Index finger forward. All right, we're gonna touch fi touch fingers. Pinky swear. A spark crackles between you. Visions flash before your eyes. You using the air to cow your foes, or mastering water to leave them cold and mm, helpless. I should have done this or with the uh, fall as the earth moves beneath you. Los. None of these are great for us. I'll take, um, splash the paint around. He touches the tip of his finger to yours. Your mind opens, and a watery secret implants itself within you. He smiles. Use it well. He dips his head in thanks, raises his index finger to his temple to say goodbye, then vanishes into the ether. Global cooling. Did we all get it? Set shield on enemies around you and deal 32 to th 35 water damage. Requires Hydrosophus 2 anyway. And only he got it. So, like, would have been great on her. But that's alright. I mean, I could see how you could, like, reload to get that, but... It's okay. I'm not totally optimizing everything. trembles before the massive bodies littering the camp. Then looks you in the eye. They're... They're dead. That means... That means I can leave. Uh, yeah. I will take you to the Lady of Vengeance. Well, sure. Sure I do. I'm a Fletcher. Perfect. Damn good one, actually. That's why I'm here. Roost forced me to work for him. After being trapped in this decimated ruin, a bit of sea air could be just what I need to relax. Decide what comes next. Thank you. You are welcome. He reaches for your hand and shakes it, his eyes smiling. It's a deal. Must be moored off the Driftwood Harbor, right? I'll meet you there. Thank you. Cool. Uh, why is that mastering the source? We liberated the Fletcher and invited him to Lady Vengeance. Interesting. I don't understand why that's mastering the source. Is he gonna give us source? Like, don't totally get it, but that's all good. Uh, don't forget, not that, that. Okay. We still gotta figure out this thing. Bench saw. Alright, so I guess that's everything. Yeah, we already talked to you. Did we come all the way back here? Alright, we did. Okay, so can we walk out the front door now? And then how do we find her people? Or like, could we take her back to the ship? Don't forget the pipe. Cool. Very good. We cleared all of that, got a ton of experience for it. Oh, someone else. Spirit of an elf. Oh, that could be good. The elf spirit seizes you by the shoulders, but you feel nothing. His eyes are panicked, and he appears to be shouting something, but you can't hear him. Reach into him. He screams on, 
but with another's voice. Oh. An elven child, in terror and in pain. The fog, the fog, the fog. Those screams will never leave you, even after your death. Oh. Okay. Are these all elven? Yeah, probably. Man, look at that thing. Uh, could, I bet Bless would like clear that, but I don't want to use. The spirit stands with her feet apart, arms at her sides, palms up. She appears to be chanting something, perhaps a prayer to the sky, but you hear nothing. Allow your mind to touch on hers. You are a dancer, a lover, a jester. But then the death fog takes the forest and all you know is gone. The screams of your people echo in your heart. You become a warrior. You die fighting, all play forgotten. Okay, also sad. For sure. Oh, that's right, there's a bunch of graves up here. We checked a love grenade. And a lot of gold. Like a crazy amount of gold when you think about it. How did we we checked the chest before and not the gold? It's pretty crazy. Get away from me, you lone wolf tosser. I'm no lone wolf. Lightly story wolf, go on, piss off. Watch your mouth. I mean, Elsewhere. yeah. What am I threatening him for? You lone wolves kick the shite out of me and send me into an accursed minefield <laughs> where my cart gets blown up and I get killed, and all you can do is laugh. <laughs> Charming. Nothing you can do is worse than that. Fair, fair. The ghostly elf stands protectively over his corpse, eyes darting across the minefield. His gaze never quite falls on you. Reach into his mind. You are a warrior, proud and true. You saw your people die as the death fog consumed the forest. You heard them scream and then fall silent. You came for revenge, and you found your own death. The ghostly elf stands protectively over his corpse. Blank polymorph skill book, gold. Is slime good? Eh. Okay, let's come check these. Uh, with you, presumably. Here lies Jonah Freed, there is lifelong no time. woodsman. We no, I wasn't talking to you. I was trying to dig. Nice. Here lies a loyal man who wished to remain anonymous. Okay. It's kind of weird. Poisonous, huh? Well, hello there. Fine day for a walk about, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Okay, this thing. So let's do it with uh, Will. Day for a walkabout, don't you think? We were he sent to find him by the spirit of an ancestor tree he felled. Uh, you can talk to him, odd. <laughs> what interesting. It is. Did the, uh, the tree have a message for me? Uh, the tree sent you here for vengeance. When he cut it down, he stole its life and separated it from its child. What now? Hey, kiddo, you're talking crazy. It's a tree, not a person. Even if it used to be a person, it ain't anymore. You been licking tree toads? Leave the spirit be, but it's body, right? Scroll. Gold. Well, can I... Ah, so very... Uh, you... Odd. What did the... Uh, Maybe I'll do express the surprise. Have a message. What now? Uh, you been... Um... Well, but what am I doing? Is there anything I can do for the actual tree? What does he want? Which one was it?
The spirit of a live wood log seeks revenge on the foreman of the mill. Only we can help it. Okay, but how do we do that? He's dead already. Here lies Ermin Kringus, faithful overseer. All right, maybe we go back and talk to him. The tree, I mean. I just don't know what we'll do to a dead man. It must be something. Or maybe just telling him that he's dead will actually placate him. Or mollify him, I guess. He remains. He remains. He remains. Remains. You remain. Well, then how do I do it? Hmm. I don't know, actually. That's an interesting problem. Could I attack a spirit? I mean, he definitely shows up as a quest. I guess I could attack a spirit. Okay, cool. Let's try. Yeah. All right, let's try. Well, that doesn't do anything. Does magic do anything? Maybe she has a different way to talk to him. Hello there. Fine day for a walkabout, don't you think? Oh, maybe we get him to leave. Take a moment to appreciate the clean air and sunshine. Tell him it's a fine day indeed. You enjoy it now, here. Never know when you might end up like me. Then your imagination will have to do you. Best of luck to you. You have yourself a pleasant day now. Here. Can you tell me anything about this place? Sure as Mama Morris died of a toilet spider. Only oversaw the place for dang near 50 years after all. Now in my day, we were a proper mill turning around half a ton of timber by the day. No mean feed for an operation this size, I tell you. Not to shut her after the last of the elf raids, though. They were brutal. Can't say I blame them, what with how quick we were turning over those trees of theirs. But a fellow's got to make a living, you know. Huh. Ask if he was killed by elves. Me? Oh no. Sock spider. <laughs> um... Our ship is made of live wood. Perhaps the lumber came from this very mill. Oh, I doubt it. We mostly supply the divine order, see? They couldn't get enough of the stuff. Um, do you know that cutting down ancestor trees is a terrible crime? To an elf, maybe. To me, it meant food on the table and enough gold to pay the doctor. Never know when a hat spider will get you. Know anything about the current occupants? Not much, no. Never met them myself. I do know they rigged this place to holy high heaven just after settling in, though. Some folks are very private. Bye now! How would I get him out of here? I mean, his body, maybe? He can't move his body. Well, hello there. Fine day for a walkabout, don't you think? How can you enjoy the weather in your current condition? <laughs> a fair point. But a good imagination can get you far, I tell you. You have yourself a pleasant day now. Here. You take care now. Then Here lies Ermin Kringus, faithful overseer. Here lies Ermin Kringus, faithful overseer. He's a spirit. I mean, he has health. But how would you deal with that? There must be something we could do. Could we bless him? It's going to use a source point, which sucks. So let's save. That didn't do anything. We could 
Well, I don't know what we could do. We talked to him. I mean, maybe if we had an elf, that would do something. I don't know. What kind of spell would hurt a spirit? Doesn't seem like any of my spells would do that. Ah, so very nice. Huh? Odd. What did the uh, what now? You been? Okay, that one's a mystery for me. For sure, fascinating. I know there's a bunch of... Oh, is that the tree that got cut down? It's certainly a tree that looks like it was cut down. It's so annoying. Oh, and there goes the... All right, let's do it this way. Anything up here? An enormous tree towers above the plain below, stayed and solid amidst the minefield at its feet. A piercing cold seems to emanate from within its ancient wood. Huh. And I could climb down that rock to a tree trunk. There's a whole bunch of stuff down here. Interesting. But I could walk around the other way too. Huh. On source orbs. How to enchant arrows with source orbs. Cool. Void touch live wood fragments. We were just seeing that in a recipe. Huh. Alright. We continue. We Whoa, go nice. On. Well, where will you go from here? Tova, my mother, and the others. They wait for me. The ancestors know what we will do next. Okay. Just got an apple pie. We got a ton of experience for that, by the way. So that's awesome. Um, in fact, let's just see. Pretty close to the next level. Uh, cool. In fact, we should, I think, check out some of that gear we picked up. Uh, actually, sort by last picked up might be easier. Yeah. Okay, Poison Cloud Arrow should go to Ifen. Master. Okay, this has got Necro... It's got Hydro and Summoning, so I would actually love to give it to her, but she's not going to have 12 Strength. So, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, it's a lot better than this. Like, strictly speaking for him. Yeah, it's a lot better. It looks absurd, though. So I'm going to turn it off. And then, like, is this better than what she has? Yep. Crazy better. I think I can sell that. Then iron leg armor. Also looks quite good. It's not as good as this, though. Those fancy pants are embarrassing. Uh, I'll give up some constitution, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this can't be better than like what Ifen has, is it? Yeah, no, okay. What do we got here? One-handed sword. We just don't do... It's not as good. We just don't do enough damage with our one-handed. With uh, in general, I feel like I feel like we need something to get the red prince to do more damage. But I don't know if that's gear. It could be a different problem. Plate, uh, some more armor. 
Uh, you don't have the strength to wear something like that. I mean, again, it's a lot better than a cloak. Which kind of makes sense, right? Uh, we're supposed to carry that somewhere. Also, that is... Uh, is quite the item. Anyone else want to wear it? 48 magic armor. Mm, it's better. It's not like the right thing, but does she really need plus one summoning? It helps her little things a little, but I don't think it's worth that much less armor. Okay, so could we identify this or not? No, we need level four. That's pretty amazing. Fireball scroll, an elven two-handed axe. I think that's worth it as an upgrade. Also, we can put a rune in. I mean, we could have put a rune in this one too and we never did, which is kind of an issue. Uh, I read this, right? Yeah. Bunch of keys. It's like a little worrying that I didn't use these keys, to be honest. Uh, makes me think I missed stuff. Which is probably quite likely. Could sell that. Marine ring, that's right, we're gonna check this out. I mean, it's a lot more magic armor than a lot of these things. I mean, he doesn't use poison, scoundrel pyrotechnic, and how important is the poison resist? So, like, joyous ring could go. What are hers? Just to tech. Yeah, these aren't great either. Uh, actually, we should just drop that. That's shouldn't have picked that up. Giblets. They probably get cooked somehow. Hair, earth. Laser ray. Cool. Cool. All right, let's save that. Uh, let's also spirit vision. Just because now that's the thing I do Constantly. What do we got up here? Oh, Sahela's people. Welcome, Savior of Sahela. Enter. Nice. They're right here. Oh, and there's a tree and everything. Thank you for your help, Frank. You guys are welcome. You save us all. My baby, my girl. There you are. Tova. My dearest friend. The one who saves me. You give us everything. Thank you for helping me. Without you, I am already dead. You save us all. My girl is back. Our scion is back. X marks the spot here. I know what you need, and I can help you. We can help you. She crouches down, okay. putting a hand on the earth and ground. Can you hear them? Their roots stretch beneath us. Even now. Tell her you can feel them and it brings you great joy. I will link you. You will hear Oh. Them. They will feed you. Increase the source in you. Increase the power. She leans toward you, her veiled eyes directed toward the ground. The slightest of smiles plays over her lips, then vanishes. Do I want to know? Ask how. What does linking to the ancestor trees involve? Whoops. Did I just mess that up? Why won't she talk to me? Oh, I see. The space inside you clears. 
You have room for more sauce. You have room for more everything. You have room for the whispers of the trees. Hold your hand to the ground. Hesitate. Something seems off. I mean, we're supposed to do it regardless. Do as she says. I hold my hand over yours. We breathe together. We call the spirit of the trees to us. Close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Got it. We're inhaling. With each in breath, the voices flutter in. Whispers at first, then gentle murmurs like water over rocks. The wind of the voices enters you as you and Sahela breathe together. It travels down your throat, into your belly, around your heart. Suddenly, your blood runs icy cold, then warms again. Each breath makes you stronger. The voices nice. you, quicken your pulse, make a space in your heart where, yes, a great power can inhabit you. That's huge. You exhale, and the voices, all but one, no louder than a whisper, flutter away. The space within you remains. Let's listen to the whisper. It is the voice of the trees. Nice. Of the mother. It will remain with you now. I hear it too. Beautiful and strong. Yours will grow if you let it. It will shrink if you do not. Man, can you imagine if we'd let her die in one of those fights? We are connected now, you and I. You and all our kind. It'd be almost as dumb as us killing Mortis. I give you something too. A thanks. Thank you. Take this spear. It destroys evil. It helps you. You help us more than you know. What will they do now? We make arrangements. We travel soon. I must meet someone who can help us. I say no more than this. But I do wish you good luck. And perhaps we meet again someday. This is incredible. Cool. I've never felt so alive. You feel newfound powers of the source course wildly through your body. Deep inside your soul, your god calls for you. Uh, cool. Before we get there, we need to pick something. Um, I mean, that's clearly better than what we have. That's actually pretty good, too. <laughs> These are all really good. Um, I like this. It's like a clear, solid, strong upgrade for him. So let's take that. It would be wise to meet with your god again by performing the Meister's Ritual here or in Siva's Vault. Okay, well, we could do that. We could totally do that. Um, but before we do, well, one, let's save. Two, actually, I probably did this backwards. Let's throw this. Oh, he can't even wear this. Um, and if I'd known I was comparing against this, it's like, eh, it's like slightly better. But it's all good. Okay. Bring Sahela back to me, my littlest one, my dearest one. You give me everything. You are welcome. Uh, all right, we got some Geo stuff. Uh, I feel like we're unlikely to see something. Um, reactive armor sounds hard to use. I feel like we're unlikely to see something that we don't already know. Fire whip? Huh. Blind and burning. Spontaneous combustion. We need you standing. Healed or not, I fight. Yeah, cool. Um, will you take our uh, wares, please? Thank you. Find that wound that it does not fester. Uh, I definitely want to talk to this thing. The tree form spirit slowly, oh so slowly, becomes aware of you. When he speaks, it's low and slow. He grumbles as if in discomfort or in pain. I see you. How'd you die? A lone wolf 
took my life as I tried to take hers. She fought the battle well, at least as well as I. The mill ran red with blood. Much of it was mine. Ah! Note his pain, ask if the agony of his violent death lingers on. Ah! No, not at all. This pain right now is from taking root. Huh, so it's an elf turning into a tree? This pain is life. How would you learn from your mistakes? That time is past. That fight is done. You must fight your own fight. You must win your own war. With a last great creaking groan, he returns to the business of securing his roots and takes his leave of you. It's pretty cool. Uh, oh man, I really want to, <laughs> but I can't. I see the good in you. Our scion is with us in this moment, so in this moment we leave this place. I see the good in you. I see the bad in you. I see the all of you. Sure, sure, tree warden. I see the good in oh, you. Oh yeah, we all say this, I see huh? The bad in you. Oh. I see the all of you. We see you well, good friend. We wish you well upon your road. Do we really have all of these? Yeah, we do. Ooh. Yeah. The scoundrel. We need you standing. Yield or not, I fight. I wonder, I mean, now, if we're really getting into like respecking and stuff, I wonder if giving um, the Red Prince some scoundrel abilities would be good. He'd use like a dagger, but he'd probably be able to do a lot more damage. I don't know, it's an interesting thought. Bind that wound that it does not fester. Okay, cool. Um, is there anything like up here? So we need to go back to Master Siva Meister, I should say. Siva we're saying. Heal your wounds. We need you standing. So we got Sahela's reward. That's huge, to be honest. Um. Uh. Just... Mastering the source. That's why Sahela showed up. So yeah, there's like a bunch of possible things, I guess, to explore. But the, the the clearest, most reasonable one is to like go back now, I think. So let's do that. Uh, should I just double check there's nothing else here to see? Yeah, there's nothing else here. Is there anything else up around here? Oh, uh, we should probably do this caravan thing. Oh, we could turn in the... We could turn in the head. All right, let's turn in the head and then go back to town rather than go up to the caravan. We can do that later. Who and what are you two up to? Or who are you two and what are you up to? Somewhere better than here, maybe. The couple notice you approach. The man offers a cheery smile. The woman watches you a little more warily, her arms crossed in front of her. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, admire your choice of camping spot. The open road. And a new life at the end of it, hopefully. Fulton, our business is our business. Remember what Carl Van told us. Running off? The man nods, chastened. We don't know where we're going, but we're definitely not going back. There's no reason for anyone to go back where we came from unless they have a death wish. What are you running from? We heard that our homes are likely gone. Aww. Void woken. We'd be dead with everyone there if we weren't forced to meet in secret. Fulton's a sorcerer. Oh no. I don't care about that. I love him. But too many people from where we come from would care. Yeah. They were just stuck in their ways. Afraid of what's being said about people like me. Well, they're all dead now. And they can't stop us being together. The Void Woken are welcome to this place. We're going to start a new life. 
Well, happiness and good luck. That rainbow's beautiful. So I'm sure there's something we could do with that. I wonder where it leads. Potentially mischievous. But we're not gonna turn him in, I guess is what you could do. I don't know. Uh he can't or won't look you in. I can't remember how he pissed him off, but we did. You still hanging around? Yeah. Cork, who do we turn something into? You, I guess. He looks up from his mat. I notice that I've yet to receive your war owl. Yeah, well, here's Mummy Dear's head. He recoils in disgust, but then, recognizing her face, he grins. It's a grim day nice. that such gore would bring me pleasure, but Helen Everhart's death was wrong, and this goes some way to writing it. Please, allow me to reward you. Nice. Um, again, I wish I had a better way to figure out which of these to take. Uh. I shall not that seems pretty likely to be strong. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's take that. Uh, yeah, we'll take the fortifying body plate. And then we also got this wand, the wire. Send that to Los. Put the grenade on Ifen, maybe. But yeah, let's throw this on. Looks pretty cool, too. Plus, it takes a rune. Uh, mass cleanse wounds. What does mass cleanse wounds do? Hmm. Be used to gain a source point or used in place of a rune on your equipment or used as an ingredient in special crafting recipes. See, the tricky thing is, I don't know, do, if we use it, are we stuck with it there? Or could we take it out and then use it for something else later? That I do not know, and that makes me very nervous. Uh, more physical armor, though, would be quite good. So I like that. Um, I know I'm going to want to get her lore master. Oh, I didn't get another civil ability though. Okay. Well, we're going to have to work on this at some point. But my sense is we should go back to town. Uh, the square. Uh, and we should see the meister to do a ritual. Um, and so we'll do that and we'll level up in the next episode. Until then, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.